oh wait oh my god what if she actually did hurt someone and lana was just covering up for her uh oh no that's probably not it <laughs> uh it seems the prints are too old they aren't clear enough to get what why why what do you mean why are you lying why are you withholding this information hey you over here <laughs> Let's. We need to step one and a half feet away from Emma so she can't hear us. Yeah, that's true. I guess he doesn't want to stress her out, but she can handle it. She's she's handled all of this so far very well. What's going on here? What are that kid's prince doing inside the chief's safe? How did he know that? <laughs> Let's just keep this information from Emma for now. I guess he was just probably looking over our shoulder or whatever. Here, maybe you should hold on to this. Hmm. Well, was I any help? Of course! Thanks to your ID card, we were able to get some hard evidence. No, that's not very kind, is it? In other words, if it wasn't for his ID card, he would have been useless. Is it Gant? Yep. Isn't that right, you in the coat? Great. We didn't think you'd be back so soon. Fortunately, I'm a man who believes in signs. As I was walking to my meeting, I happened to look out a window and saw a stray dog run right into a pole. Yeah, uh-oh, besties. <laughs> we gotta get out of here. Cue, like, Scooby-Doo-esque running out of the room. Just then, I thought of a certain detective. Do you mean me, sir? Now then, I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask you all to leave. Oh, you in the coat? Drop off your ID on the way out. You won't be needing it anymore. You were right, Mel's. <laughs> we were just taking out the extra steps for him. Yeah, fuck this guy. Make a break for it. He doesn't even have any cameras. Wait, you, the one without the spiky hair. Don't go yet. Uh, I'm not comfortable leaving this 16-year-old girl in here with you. I'm going to be honest with you. Just going to be 100 with you right now. But sir, I'm not a licensed scientific investigator yet. You with the spiky hair, you're free to go. No, I'm not gonna do that. Okay, I guess Nick is just gonna fucking leave her there. I know, okay, he's 24. He's not like 18. He's an adult. He knows better than to do that. I'd rather die than leave Emma with this freak. I agree. Yeah, why is he just like, oh, okay, sorry, sir. She's literally a child, and I'm pretty sure this man is a murderer. Are you fucking kidding me? And he had a piece of cloth in his safe with her fingerprints on it. I mean, worst guardian ever. But no, you just had to go sneaking in there like that, didn't you? I thought you said you didn't care anymore if you were fired. Yeah, but if I knew it'd be like this, I never would have said it. <laughs> if I would have gotten fired, I wouldn't have done it. <laughs> Now I think now that I've seen the evidence Chief Gant was hiding his office, they can finally starting to get the picture. But why is he kept eerily silent? I'm gonna try to smooth things over with the chief again. Later, pal. She doesn't even have a guardian, you're right. Her older sister is doing some sort of weird martyr shit to, to try and put herself in prison. And I don't think Phoenix counts. <laughs> After that I heard from Emma. She said the police wanted to ask her some questions. So she'll be busy for the rest of the day. I don't like that. I don't like the sound of that. So the chief asked Emma to come in for questioning. It's no use thinking about it. Tomorrow's the final day in court. Yeah, where's her lawyer? The cops don't get to just ask her a bunch of questions like that. What you've told me these past couple days is absolutely nothing. Not a single useful thing. Fucking get her ass, Nick. <laughs> really? I believe I did mention something quite important. Something I told you right at the beginning. I said that I was the detective who... I was the one who stabbed Detective Goodman, is what I was trying to say. Phoenix has been demoted to rookie. <laughs> you know, I think I finally figured it out. I know who it is that's lurking behind your words. Mia did a good job mentoring you. I'm rather jealous. Oh, is she being forced to do this by Gant? It seems Edgeworth was right. Once you're convinced you know something, no one can persuade you otherwise. Thick-headed is the term I, he used, I believe. Oops, wrong button. I have to admit I was more than a little perplexed at first. You insisted you did it, yet there was no incriminating evidence. That's when it hit me. It's not that you're unwilling to tell the truth, it's that you're incapable of doing so because of a certain individual. 
What an intriguing notion. A certain individual, you say? So you think I'm protecting this person? Protecting? No, I think afraid of is more like it. If I'm not mistaken, the person in question may have persuaded you, you to silence. For argument's sake, Mr. Wright, who may I ask is this person you're speaking of? The one I am supposedly so frightened of? It's Damon, obviously. Take that! Take that! This is the man you're afraid of. Take that! <laughs> Just turns her back to us? Uh, the one and only Meekins? Should have said Meekins. Mr. Wright, you are addressing the chief prosecutor. Do not forget your place. Okay. Uh, first of all, rude. My apologies. Could you please tell me a bit more about what you think you know? We were partners until two years ago. I respected him as a detective. Assuming he is res assuming he is respectable, then tell me something. Why would he try to hide his crimes? Yeah, you're in jail, bitch. What are you gonna do? <laughs> also, we left your sister alone with him. Yeah, uh, I suspect that you're doing that. You're afraid of this guy, but also I left your little kid sister along with him. It's fine. Anyway, what were we talking about? <laughs> Both you and Edgeworth would be brought before a board of inquiry for what you did, specifically hiding and forging evidence. Of course, there are serious offenses. Why is it, though, that Chief Gant's name was never mentioned? Edgeworth didn't know the truth behind the forgery. The only party who could have possibly tampered with the evidence was me. I had access because I was second in command of that investigation. Yes, you, but also one other, Damon Gant. If you intend to accuse Damon Chief Gant, you'll need more than just words. Show me proof that Chief Gant falsified evidence in that case. Found this in the safe in the police office. This jar piece. This piece of cloth. You know what these are? They're pieces of evidence from the SL9 incident. The person concealing evidence was none other than Chief Gant himself. Now tell me why are you taking all the blame for him? Touche, Mr. Wright. It's as you surmised. I cannot disobey the Chief's orders, even if it means being found guilty for murder. Come now, Mr. Wright. You can't possibly expect me to be able to tell you that. Three days ago, I had no choice but to cooperate. Or perhaps I should say, follow orders. Yes, that's more accurate than cooperate. Although I can't tell you the details, I can say that I was given an order that day. I need you to dispose of Bruce Goodman's body. You'll find it inside the trunk of Miles Edgeworth's car. Bummer. Just as I suspected. Despite what everyone believes. You are not the one who murdered Detective Goodman. So, okay. Uh, no, I'm listening. I'm listening. I was trying to take the body out of Edgeworth's car. The trunk's lock was broken, and I discovered that murder weapon while inspecting the body. The murder weapon? You mean Edgeworth's knife? No. When I found the body, this was the knife stuck in it. The knife from the SL9 incident. Serial killer Joe Dark's knife. Couldn't just leave that knife in him. So I took it out and stabbed him with another knife. I What did I say at the beginning about her stabbing him just in the same spot he had already been stabbed? Oh, even though he was already dead, my hands were shaking at the thought of stabbing. I ended up cutting my hand. And that's the reason for the bandage on your right hand. Yes, it seems that I got blood on the victim's shoes at well, as well. And then she saw me just as I plunged the knife in. Unbelievable. Why did you need to hide Dark's knife so badly? It took a lot of work to finally close the Dark case two years ago. It was over with. I didn't ever want it to be open again. My intent was to prevent that by whatever means possible. The weapon used to stab the detective was evidence of Joe Dark case. If word got out, which it would, the reporters would have a field day with that. So you wrapped the knife in your scarf and hid it. In Edgeworth exhaust pipe. Right, then I called my sister to tell her what happened and asked her to hide the knife that was inside my muffler. I didn't want anyone on the force to know about this. Damn, Lana kind of sucks, huh? <laughs> she, she just kind of was like, you know what's more important? My job and cops. So I'm going to ask my fucking 16-year-old sister to hide evidence. I mean, yeah, <laughs> what an asshole, right? Yeah. Oh. Speaking of phone calls, I had a bad feeling about one of them that day. The truth is, after I received those orders from Gant, the first thing I did was make a phone call to Patrolman Jake Marshall. Why on earth would you call him? The lead investigator for the SL9 incident had been murdered. I wanted that fact to be kept hidden and I needed help. He was the only other person I could trust, or at least I thought I could trust him at the time. 
kids get away with everything. <laughs> yeah, she would have just gotten a slap on the wrist. It's fine. <laughs> However, it seems that after I spoke to him, he went off to an, on an escapade of his own. Not wanting the case to die, he decided to take things into his own hands. Disguised himself as Goodman and tried to steal the evidence. He had already stolen the ID card, but it seems he still hadn't made up his mind to break into the evidence room. After my phone call, any remaining doubts he had must have disappeared. So your phone call caused the incident in the evidence room. Okay. I'm following. I'm following, mostly. I'm afraid that's all I can tell you. You've earned my respect, Mr. Wright, both as a defense attorney and an investigator. Now please, don't pursue this any further in court tomorrow. Okay. Detective Goodman's real murderer. And what went down in the chief's office two years ago? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, okay, well that's not gonna happen. Right? Like, I'm just gonna be real with you, Chief. Literally, Chief Prosecutor. That's not gonna happen. Hell yeah. Alright. February 25th, 9.47 a.m. There's no defendant. Been trying to reach Lana all morning. Where could she be? And where's Emma? Oh, great. Something's been happening behind the scenes. Knowing you, you've already figured it out. Who the owner of the 777777 ID number is. Well, I have a pretty strong hunch. Looks like I'm not the only one who's figured it out. You know, the only reason this trial didn't reach a verdict yesterday is because there was still room for doubt regarding this ID record. If that number does belong to whom you suspect, then no doubt will remain. After all, he hasn't officially been charged with anything. Not yet. In any event, once all doubt has been removed from that list, I can call for a ruling. Five minutes right, and Chief Prosecutor will be found guilty. But she didn't do it. I figured you'd say as much. That's why I came here, to hear what you have to say. Lana's hiding something, and the only way we'll ever know the truth is to draw it out of her. Everything goes back to the SL9 incident. Don't be stupid. Today's the last day of the trial. We don't have time to reminisce. That depends on you. If she's found guilty, you'll lose your only chance to find out what really happened. I'll think about it. See you in court. You gotta feel so cool saying shit like see you in court. If I'm ever gonna find out what Chief Gant has on her, it's now. Okay, I mean, the 16-year-old kid we've essentially been looking out for is missing, and our defendant is missing, but it's all good. Let's go! Let's fucking go, dude. I'm ready. I'm ready to take down Gant. That guy sucks. The chief- the police chief has a proposal to make. He can't just do shit like that. Like, override the nor- okay, whatever. Uh, how's everyone doing? Hey, OG, been back to the pool yet? That's a good one, don't think I can top that. What do you fucking want? Hello? Lana, that is to say, the defendant, has asked me if she could speak directly to the court. Having heard what she intends to say, I feel she should be granted her request. In the end, it should save everyone a lot of time and trouble. I don't like where this is going. At all. Lana, what the fuck? Your Honor, I'd like you to put an immediate end to this trial. I confess to all charges again. This is stupid, and I hate her. <laughs> I think this is dumb. She's so afraid of this guy that she's stri like, this is stupid. Probably threatened to do something to Emma also, because he had her all day yesterday. On February 21 of this year, I murdered Detective Bruce Goodman in the underground parking lot of the prosecutor's office. Oh my god, this is so annoying. Lana. <laughs> this bitch! <laughs> You can't! Your Honor, the defendant's claim does not change the defense's plea. In that case, Mr. Wright, I no longer require your services. I feel like she's probably only doing this to save Emma from something, but it's still dumb as hell. Yeah, no, totally. But, like, she's also super powerful, so why the fuck... Like, she can't do anything? You know, at all? This is the only thing she can do? Forfeit my right to my attorney. Okay, well... 
Well, you know what then? Fuck me then, I guess, right? <laughs> fuck you, fuck me, fuck the whole thing. <laughs> All right. Her request is legally valid, although this is an unprecedented situation. It indeed, it appears there's no further need to continue this trial, even if Mr. Wright may feel otherwise. It appears the time for this verdict has arrived. The court finds the defendant. Come on, Edgeworth. Step in. Objection. Step in. Yeah! One moment, Your Honor. Yeah. Oh, I love him. He's grown on me the past five chapters or whatever. He's grown on me. I love him. The prosecution has not yet proven the defendant guilty beyond reasonable doubt. Any ruling at this stage would certainly be premature. Come now, Worthy. Yeah, get her ass, Edgy. I understand this is a difficult time for you, but why don't you just be a good little boy and keep your mouth shut, hmm? Hey, that's fucking weird. Don't talk to me like that. <laughs> I don't think I care for your tone, Chief Gant. Hell yeah. Creating another fabrication to cover up your past mistakes. Sorry, but I'm no longer the naive little boy you would have me be. Oh my god. With this sudden confession from the defendant, it's obvious to me some kind of deal was struck behind the scenes. Oh my god. Not everyone operates as you do, Worthy. I thought so. Your Honor, the prosecution would like to change its first witness. As its first witness, the prosecution would like to call Ms. Emma Sky. Yeah, I'm 40 now and I make the rules. <laughs> I request the court hears her testimony. Mr. Edgeworth, I am exercising my right to self-representation. I don't think we need to cont I don't care what you think. Don't care, didn't ask, plus you're mean. <laughs> don't care, didn't ask, plus you're gonna let your sister be put into the system. <laughs> the exposure of truth sometimes results in tragedy. However, no matter how tragic the truth may be, it would be an even greater tragedy to avert one's eyes from it. Very wise. Wise words. Very well. The court shall grant the prosecution's request. It's okay with you, right, Chief Kent? Worthy, you'll live to regret this. Mark my words. It won't matter, because you're going to go to prison. Also, I hate you. Miss Emma Skye, please take the stand. Hell yeah, love that guy. Yeah, is that a threat? Can you just say that in court in front of everyone? <laughs> it's, it's like 50 other people here. <laughs> now then, witness, please state your name and occupation. Um, my name's Emma Sky. My occupation, I'm Lana's little sister and I wanna be a scientific investigator. Two years ago, you encountered the serial killer Joe Dark of the Joe Dark Killings, is this correct? Yes. I'm trying my hardest to forget about that though. I'm sorry, but I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask you to recall those events one more time. Mr. Edgeworth, please remember this trial concerns the murder of Detective Goodman. Is an incident that was resolved two years ago really all that relevant? Yes, it most certainly is. <laughs> okay! <laughs> if you say so. Please testify about what happened to you two years ago. The trip to yesteryear has finally begun. Bound to lead to the truth. His hair do be spiky. Whenever they zoom in on it, I'm like, wow, I kind of forgot. <laughs> that's what he looks like. I was waiting, and not that that's what he looks like, but like that it's that intense, you know? It's like from afar, I'm kind of used to it, and then we get close up to it, and I'm like, that's really what he looks like. <laughs> it's really what he looks like. I was waiting in my sister's office that day. A man came running in and took me hostage. Neil Marshall rescued me, but I'll never forget what I saw in that instant. The man raised up his knife and stabbed Mr. Marshall in the chest. I don't know about that. It's a good thing you weren't harmed. I passed out. I don't remember much. Oh, that's a bummer. <laughs> However, please tell me, Mr. Edgeworth, what does this have to do with Detective Goodman's murder? That will soon become apparent, Your Honor. He really just lets these people do whatever the fuck they want in this courtroom. <laughs> Very well. The defense may begin its cross-examination. All right. So the first thing is I know that she didn't see it. The lights went out. Tell us about that. Mr. Marshall jumped on dark, then the lights went out. It's just about this time of year, there was a terrible storm going on and lightning struck. If it was pitch dark in that room, you should have been able to see anything. Right, but just then lightning flashed again outside, the sudden flash left an unforgettable image of the scene in my mind. Detective Goodman, he was in charge of the case. 
Hear more. Stop. <laughs> That's enough. I've had enough. <laughs> so you spoke with Detective Goodman about this two years ago. And you told Detective Goodman about what you saw. But at the time, the words just wouldn't come out. <laughs> That's why I drew a picture. I have that picture. I have that picture. But the list of evidence I was given two years ago didn't contain a picture. Check is check this shit out. Damn, she's a good artist. <laughs> oh yeah, now she's a good artist. Before you said it looked like a kid paint. I, I mean, I guess it was a kid. She was fourteen. <laughs> Sorry, I called it a child's rendition, Emma. <laughs> This little girl putting all her heart into drawing that picture. And yet you would insist on denying its existence? Oh shit. <laughs> it was a kid's painting. It was. You're right. <laughs> I mean, it's still a child's rendition, but that's okay because it was expected of her. <laughs> Not the bad guy. All I'm saying is that as the prosecutor for that case, I wasn't handed such a picture. That may well be. But that doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Behold! A man. This is the evidence list for the SL9 incident? Please turn it over, Your Honor. Ah! <laughs> the scary picture! <laughs> hey, that's it! That's the picture I drew! Oh, I love her little boots. Indeed, two men appear to be wrestling in here. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's exactly what that is. That's uh, Hulk Hogan and The Undertaker, obviously. <laughs> What's the meaning of this? What are you doing with that list? Behold, Emma Sky's incredible art skills. Only the prosecutor in charge should have access to that list. These lists are different from each other. The evidence list you were handed two years ago was incomplete. You can see the marks here where they were torn apart from each other. Yo. You only received half the evidence. I make the rules now, Edgy. Do you, who do you think you are? I am. <laughs> but Miss Sky, why did you draw your picture on the back of such an important list? Because that's what Detective Goodman handed me in the questioning room, Your Honor. Wait a minute. If this list was torn in half, then that means... Your Honor! Your eyes are bulging from your head. If the evidence list was torn in half, then there might be more of the drawing on the back of Mr. Edgeworth's list. What? What else could we be looking at? What is going on? <laughs> so funny. Oh, this game's funny. I, I would say something's wrong. Oh my god. So I'm fine now. <laughs> Sorry, I'm normal again. <laughs> Sorry for acting weird. It'll definitely happen again. <laughs> there is indeed something drawn on the back of my list. It's that that thing. She did a Danganronpa style whole ass comic book, yeah? Just a full manga. Oh my god, it's that scary mascot. What? What? What in the goddamn? What am I looking at? What am I what am I looking at? What am I look Is it the the vase? What the fuck? I know it looks like what's his face? It looks like the mascot, but is that this? Literally what the hell is going on? Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna listen. I'm just gonna... Will you please testify about this picture you drew? Okay. She seemed to be thinking about something when she was looking at the picture. What the fuck is going on here? <laughs> this is the picture I drew two years ago. Flash of lightning was so bright, all I could see were shadows. After that, I must have fainted. This picture shows exactly what I saw in that instant. That didn't help at all. I don't see any contradictions. Clearly shows Joe Dark about to murder and prosecutor Neil Marshall. Defense may now begin to cross-examination. Okay. 
Okay. You ask her to explain and she's just like, this is my OC police chan and blah blah blah. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> Police chat. <laughs> oh, it's <that's> good. <laughs> it's got a bunch of AO3 tags on the bottom. It's like fucking. Yowie hashtag Yowie hashtag Marshall X Dark hashtag. <laughs> Oh, it really got me. <laughs> this picture shows exactly what I saw. Um... What do you mean? Tell me more. <laughs> Sorry for asking so many times, but are you sure you drew exactly what you saw? Of course, this is the exact scene! It wasn't influenced in any way from your talks with the detectives. Are you insinuating we somehow manipulated her memory, Mr. Knight? No, of course not. I better watch out or he might find some way to cut my salary. I drew this picture before I heard anything from the detective, so I don't think anyone's story would have influenced me. Is there something that's bothering you about this picture? Well, she claims this is exactly the scene that was imprinted in her mind, and yet there's clearly a contradiction here. Well, the knife is square, right? Which is weird, so it, it... I don't know if that's on purpose or not, but... I don't know if that's supposed to be the, the knife that was already had the piece broken off, but... Time, you didn't even know it was Mr. Marshall who had come to your rescue. No, I couldn't see him clearly. The lightning was so bright and I was knocked to the floor. Okay, so you actually didn't know who it was. Dark had a tight grip on me, but when Mr. Marshall jumped on him, I was knocked away. I turned around, and that's when the lightning flashed. Poor Emma, I'm just glad she wasn't hurt. Yeah, poor girl. Damn, she really been through the ringer, huh? What do you mean, fainted? <laughs> you mean you didn't see the actual murder take place? No. Sorry. Oh. Flash of lightning only drove off the darkness for a split second. Not only that, but the trauma of the situation understandably caused the witness to faint. You really need to torture this girl any further? No, that's fair. <laughs> I'm not the bad guy here. Anyway, this picture. Your Honor! Oh, okay. I mean, I think it's contradictory. The, the knife was already square. But that's fine. Whatever. Just gonna save again real quick. Huh. Stabbed in the back. Wait, he's being stabbed in the front. Kind of. I don't know, let's try it. <laughs> huh? Hate to be the bearer of bad news, but this picture of the witness drew contains a blatant contradiction. Well, I still remain. Mr. Wright. 
How dare you? How dare you question this girl's trauma? <laughs> you trying to fuck her up for real? <laughs> she already had to spend the whole day with Gant yesterday. That shit fucked her up for days. Perhaps it would be faster if you simply pointed out this contradiction. I think it's uh, this part here. It's because the drawing stinks. Oh, I was being rude to her. <laughs> okay, wait, maybe I was wrong? 